so georgie georgie george george from the fire and the kid got gadooshed allegedly the news broke over the last couple of days that george one of the producers behind the scenes at thick boy studios thick boy empire thick boy network thick boy planet thick boy with three fucking c's great thick never met him had been fired just before fucking christmas can you imagine can you imagine being fired just before christmas bitch you guessed it i can it's happened to me twice <laughs> okay i've uh, been let go through i love it when they try and tell you oh it's wide um it's you know it's company-wide layoffs and stuff as if that makes it any better i'm still a person i don't care about anybody else i'm pissed off okay anyway george allegedly got fired the news broke all over the fire and the kids suffered it and people have been going absolutely crazy at the news um you know constructing really funny memes and whatnot but at first no one really believed it like actually did it actually happen we didn't really have any evidence and um, it was just sort of rumors and hearsay because i guess some people in the tfk subreddit have infiltrated the inner workings ons the inner goings on of fucking the thick boy empire and are pally pally and friendly with some of the people on the show and they dm from time to time that's one thing cool i'm just surprised that these fucking numbnuts reply and give random strangers on the reddit from the reddit a reddit that's responsible for you know all the fucking um, negativity around brenda's name are willingly offering up information about what's going on behind the scenes it's obviously proof that the guy doesn't run a tight ship and that the guys that work for him are looking after themselves right they don't really give a fuck it's really really interesting when you think about it like why are they even telling this information anyway no one was sure what happened everybody was fucking on the fence we don't really know what's going on then george posted this weird post on his instagram soon after it happened which again is probably proof that these guys are always on the subreddit because it's funny how they always seem to kind of weirdly respond to stuff they see on the reddit through the instagram story so everybody's politicking and debating about whether or not george got fucking fired and then he posts this um graphic of the fire and the kid one of their old logos right super super old logo um of them um with happy holiday see you in 2024 which i'm guessing he made because i think he says he edits clips and does some photoshop shit right so i don't know I, maybe i'm being too harsh and maybe i'm you know rating my photoshop skills highly but or too highly but if this is the level of work that george does he probably deserves to get fired if this is the kind of graphics the seasonal graphics that he was putting together and that he was getting allegedly paid upwards of a thousand dollars a month for he probably deserved to get fired because this is pretty shit i'm not gonna lie it's a super old logo they don't use these and you know these fucking illustrations anymore to represent them um fucking brendan doesn't even look like this you know rinks doesn't look like this the logo it doesn't whatever it is what it is happy holidays especially with the exclamation marks you know like the fonts don't match the background like obviously horrible 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 but it was proof little bit proof that george was still alive and he hadn't been fired cool then it continues then it fucking continues like i guess you know how bad can it actually get it always gets fucking worse somebody for the fire and the kids subreddit decided to go on bgl's instagram aka mark harley and for whatever reason for again don't ask me why i'm just kind of covering what happened and putting it into some sort of cohesive order for whatever reason bgl is in contact with somebody relating to george i guess george's mum. i don't know why or maybe some i don't know what's happening somehow something happened um bgl got their got their screenshots put on his instagram and look what his instagram says so bgl's instagram stories post what looks like an email screenshot that somebody else sent him and he puts a caption that says had to email Oh no, so this is his email screenshot of his emails. Sorry, this is a screenshot of his email to Brendan and Brian. Cool. I apologize. Let's continue. He said, had to email Brendan and Brian to congratulate them on conducting business properly with the most loyal employees. Nice work. So this is the title of the email he sent to Brendan. So I guess during this whole time that BGL got caduced by Brendan, he's been emailing spam emailing brendan this whole time i guess it's been happening maybe because he's fed up and not getting his money maybe because every time he wakes up at night randomly he remembers how much brendan fucked him over but for some reason i guess he just randomly emails him so he, he randomly emailed brendan cc'd brian and the title is couldn't even call him yourself pussy and in the fucking you know body of the email there's a there's a screenshot of an instagram dm that looks like the instagram dm of somebody related to george 
George's mum, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, George's mum. And they say this. Well, guess what? Brendan Sloyer. Is that? Oh, they oh they meant to say Brendan's lawyer. I thought that was a fucking, a diss. Like Brendan Slaw. Like maybe because he's, wow, I didn't know. Fuck, bro. George is really from the gutter, isn't it? His mum spells like that. Brendan's lawyer. Law as in like L-A, all one, wow. George is from the fucking gutter. Okay, just called, anyway, Brenda's lawyer just called George and they let him go and said they can't afford to pay him. What the fuck? Wow. Now, George. George has to figure out how to get back home, yo. I'll, on what little savings he has. Wow, life is really strange and so are people. And BGL replies back, wait, are you serious? So according to this leaked DM from Instagram, Brendan fired George, lovable George, right? The guy that wouldn't allegedly hurt a fly. He fired this dude, right? Oh no, he's not here somewhere. I don't know where he is. It doesn't matter. You, you know what it looks like. He fired George via a lawyer. <laughs> that is the most on-brand Brendan Schaub thing ever. Could you imagine a more ridiculous situation that you have to fire a glorified intern through a lawyer because you don't have the guts to do it to their face because what you're gonna feel a bit awkward and a bit weird about letting somebody go that's what happens in businesses like it's, it is the name of the game isn't it it's not that big of a deal really if anything you owe him to tell him to his face not to kind of do it through a fucking third party what an absolute losery thing to do so that's allegedly what he's alleging right there that's what's being suggested in this little email um and then, of course, um, the fact that he's stranded, I guess, now in L.A. and can't fly back is really crazy. Um, I wouldn't put that on Brendan, to be fair, even though he's a prick. If he did fire this guy for his lawyer before Christmas, it's not on Brendan to be like, you know, for him to be stuck in L.A. If you're working somewhere and you are that financially, you know, unstable, you probably should always maybe have a little rainy day fund for yourself just in case shit turns left. Because I don't know about you, but... If I'm George and I'm working for Papa, even if I like him, because George clearly does like the Fire and the Kid. That's the thing about George. He's actually a fan. He's actually a legit fan of the Fire and the Kid. That's how he got on the show. Uh, most of you know his story about losing weight and shit. So if that's the case, you should know those guys better than anybody. And you should know how quickly their careers have kind of gone south. So you should have a contingency plan in, in place. I wouldn't, don't, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that new girl that replaced Cat that one on the on this picture this girl don't be surprised if she has a contingency plan in place i am don't be surprised if she knows exactly what she's doing she's there for a short time or a long time get some experience get some screen time maybe get a boost in followers use the contacts whatever it may be to go and segue and do your own thing for sure she's got a plan in place so when you're working with those guys because they're so problematic and terrible and shit you probably should have a rainy day fund just in case someone comes out of the woodwork and in case and accuses them of something again because if those guys were to suffer one more cancellation personally in my opinion if they were to suffer one more cancellation I'd, i think it's a wrap one more public scandal and they couldn't you know if if, if brendan is having to fire this guy I think he's actually having to fire him because he actually can't afford to pay the dude, you know, legit. I don't think it's just him being a piece of shit, although he is. I think probably his business manager said, hey, you actually can't afford to pay this dude a thousand pound a month, like cut back on the spending, even though he fucking bought a fucking Ford truck, a truck or something, whatever it is, right? Um, and, you know, his wife doesn't work and stays at home and just buys Balenciaga. I'm sure that he actually did fire him because the money's not where it needs to be because you know he's not doing as many live comedy gigs anymore um the touring around the world isn't a thing anymore the whiskey's dead and buried um and you know it's just the ads coming through in the podcast which is dying audio isn't king so it wouldn't surprise me if they actually do need to cut back on the cost but you know not having the guts to just tell this guy up to his face straight up about the situation is horrible and the way he dealt with it i think is more indicative of brendan as a person than anything else out there if this is how he acts you know 
behind the scenes with people that you know have essentially given their rule to allow him to have the lifestyle that he's able to live to have you know because he doesn't really do anything behind the scenes he's not really a producer or anything we've learned obviously from pgl that he doesn't know how to record edit or whatever all that sort of shit so the fact that these guys do everything for him and he doesn't have the decency to tell them to their face hey this isn't going to work out long term sorry i have to make some changes is disgusting right super 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 disgusting but again it fucking continues again doesn't it because um brian somehow confirmed it brian the fucking redact right i don't know why brian cannon is so fucking dumb but that email that i just showed you where fucking brendan where sorry bgl decided to um copy and paste the screenshot of him talking to george's mom and send it in an email and cc brian cannon and send it to brendan brian decided to fucking reply to the email why is he reply like he knows what brendan and bgl are going through bgl again respect to the dude and i honestly i'm feeling for his plight but he's obviously not you know stable he's obviously going you know whatever situation that he's a bit unhinged and shit and your friend your co-host is going through a bit of pass with him again forget the unhinged stuff fucking scrap that your guy's going through a public beef a public episode a disagreement with this dude right it's in open they obviously ended on bad terms why are you even replying to him why are you talking to him for it should be complete no communication because you're siding with your guy, right? You stand with him in whatever situation, right or wrong. But he doesn't. Brian replies to the email thread and says the following. Actually, <laughs> I didn't hire him, nor did I know he was fired until Lex let him go. And apparently we are still paying him. <laughs> Brian doing what Brian always does best and protecting himself and throwing other people under the bus. Now he included some other guy's name in there. Lex, who's the lawyer, I guess, for Bright, for Brendan, he just threw the, the lawyer's name in there and made it known that it's not him involved. Doesn't that remind you of something? Doesn't that remind you of the time when Brian said that he's not friends with Crystalia and they'd never hung out before and they're only comedy friends and then he went through his Instagram and deleted most of the pictures and videos of him and Chris on his Instagram because he was afraid that when Chris got fucking cancelled for diddling, it was going to blow back on him and he completely threw him under the bus and pretend like he didn't know him. That sounds like exactly the same thing that he did there. Exactly the same thing that he did to Crystalia. He's doing in the situation here. He doesn't even need to reply. Why is he replying for? Anyway, he replies. He protects himself. He says that. Then he continues. I'm also talking about... Um, I also love that it's a bit snarky at the end there, isn't it? Apparently, we're still paying him. So what? Like, so you didn't fire him. You didn't hire him. You didn't fire him. But now you know that Lex is the one that let him go. And you also know that he's still getting paid. So do you know anything or do you not know anything? Like, <laughs> anyway, I'm also talking to him to try to find him some work. <laughs> imagine how in imagine how insulted you would feel if a mid if a old if an old age pensioner trust fund kid because I don't think they, many exist. No, they do exist because boomers are fucking old, right? They don't die until they're fucking hundred. So imagine being a 60 year old trust fund kid right imagine and you're telling another person or you're trying to help them how to get a job when you've never had a regular job in your life apart from i think he said didn't brian say he worked for one of his friends account one of his dad's friends accounting firms right but brian has never had a regular job in his life right he doesn't need to he comes from wealth and stuff imagine him trying to smooth the blow over by helping you out and sending you some links from indeed.com and shit oh i'd be furious i called him the second i heard remember he's not my employee <laughs> yes he is brian don't you also own fix this is the thing that's so bizarre about these guys so who actually owns fix boy or fire the kid doesn't george work on fire the kid so anyway brian says he's not my employee i don't know him i've never met him great guy never met him but I care about the kid, obviously. So trying to help in any way I can. If you have any ideas, give them to me. Nah, again, this guy with help and handouts and ideas. You sort it out, bro. Your boy is the one that fired him. So he replied that and said it. And again, opened a whole can of worms because he confirmed that it happened. And I'll show you why this is going to be really dumb afterwards. But the next screenshot is the funniest. Because BGL then replies to Brian Callen's email. <laughs> because you can imagine since he since he got let go since he got fired i would assume the last communication bgl probably had with brendan 
was if you went to hurt me brother you got me right if you went to got me whatever that 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 fucking legendary i message clip was right if you went to hurt me you hurt me i'm sure that was the last time he spoke to them so he's probably been shouting into the void screaming into the void at these guys for months since he's been fucking let go with no response so imagine how excited he was when he saw brian callen's ping back so he decided to just unload in classic bgl fashion right whole blocks of text brian no 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 just went to cc you in case i was blocked by brendan i was calling brendan a pussy not you seriously i actually assumed you'd never pull something like that terrible look for him similar to say telling several of his side pieces he fired me for being a domestic abusing drug addict who didn't come to work etc when in fact he fired me for not texting him back for three and a half hours between 6 19 p.m it's the end of the year but it don't fire me m mate. i don't have enough addies and buddies to get home <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if bgl's biggest grievance was that he was fired and he had and he had to consume all the addies himself because that's isn't that part of the beef as well am i not mistaken didn't isn't he saying he didn't get paid for some drugs or my or my putting smut in his name isn't that part of the story he got brendan some addies that he didn't pay for or something Oh, what a mess. But yeah, big up Coiler. Appreciate you, brother. <sighs> Anyways, so let's start again because I, lo I love his blocks of text. Terrible look for him. Similar to say, telling his two side pieces, he fired me because of some domestic abuse and drug addict who didn't come to work when in fact he fired me for not texting him back for three and a half hours, 3.6 hours, sorry, um, between 6 and 19 p.m. and 9.48 while I worked as he consumed 120 mg's of Adderall, 60 Wixie shocks a week, a pound of Kratom and 20 mg nicotine and 74 sheets of espresso per day. Shot, sorry. Yo, Brendan is a tank. If that's true, again, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Brendan's Brendan is an actual real machine. Not Burt Kreischer. Brendan's a machine. If he's walking around doing that much Adderall, 60 shots of whiskey per week, a pound of Kratom, <laughs> and 20 American nicotine, and 74 shots of espresso every day, yo, this guy is absolutely Teflon. Um, or hiring a private investigator for what? 10K, I assume, to harass Luana and look into me for breaking into his house to show Joanna text messages between him and some chick simply to gaslight his wife when one of the girls sent her flowers. I love you, Brian. Always have, always will. On guard. Moi, moi. Um, the subtext, um, the end. P.S. You're crazy, lazy, drug addicted, lying, totally unstable, but also kind of right about everything I've said, friend. Hello, Mark Harley. Yo. And he sent, and again, there's another text underneath here, by the way. He sent two. He just sent one as a screenshot, but he sent another email. Yo. He sent one at 10.33 and another email at 10.33. Uh, no, 10.32 and 10.33. All in all, BGL confirmed everything. No, Brian confirmed everything like a fucking idiot. BGL then decided to use George's firing as an opportunity to lay bear his grievances with brendan in a super super unhinged way through email just again gather all these things together george is the one that gets fired everybody's outraged that he got fired away he got fired through a lawyer not face to face brendan's now hiding behind people and shit um the mum is worried he can't fly her back home he doesn't have any money poor george blah 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 and then BGO manages to get some information about what happened through his mum. And Brian decides to email back and reply to the thread of BGO kind of quote unquote harassing, I guess, Brendan and, um, and, and in a weird way, confirming what happened. Cool. Right. That's what happens. We continue on. Then George decides to enter the fucking chat. George decides to clear up everything that's going on because there's loads of stuff that's going on out there. And most likely, my assumption is this, because we know this is mostly Brendan's doing. Brendan probably didn't like the fact that he was getting trounced online and these comments were getting blitzed with people saying, you did George dirty. So he probably told George, hey, 
let everybody know you didn't get fired like go out there and fix this because i'm looking bad out here um i want everyone to think i'm a good guy so george gets on his instagram stories and writes the following for anyone concerned i'll be working remotely for at brendan Shaw for the foreseeable future i appreciate everyone's concern and while i have a lot of big decisions i love my los angeles family and i look forward to my future so in some weird you know reversal George comes out and says, actually, what you've heard is not true. Even though my mum contacted BGL and said so, and even though Brian, fucking the kid Callan, confirmed it himself in an effort to protect himself, right? Self-preservation, you ended up fucking exposing Brendan. So it actually did happen. George says, no, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, I'm actually going to be working remotely. <laughs> working remotely doing what? Fucking writing descriptions, writing titles. Can they really trust you to do that? If your mum is spelling lawyer as, L, you know, all one word with like whatever, right? I don't think you should be fucking trusted with writing captions or fucking titles. So what are you doing from remote, remotely? Editing stuff. That's probably more hassle than it's worth to have you, what, dropboxing, editing clips and stuff. Like, what? what? Why would they bother doing that? Like, absolutely crazy. So out of the blue, Brennan decides to, I guess, get in contact with him and say, hey, you're not fired stop fucking saying that even though i told you that even though i told my lawyer to tell you that you're not fired you're working remotely and if i'm george again you know i don't expect anybody to watch my shit but if he is watching my shit you have to run a mile george you have to run a mile you legitimately have to run a mile i don't have any doubt in my mind that part of the reason why you got let go is because you're probably bad at your job for lack of a better term again it happens and it? it's not a bad thing sometimes you're not good at what you do and you just get hired as um what's that thing called because i've been that guy before myself where you get hired as a personality hire have you ever been that person i've been that person sometimes but it's not a good thing to kind of bank your career on because there comes a point where you need to actually be good at what you do and kind of earn your keep that way but maybe it was a personality hire maybe it was a sympathy hire maybe it was brendan's way to kind of you know counteract all the negativity about him online by hiring somebody like like you george and stuff because people think maybe you're vulnerable or whatever it may be or whatever redacted who knows right but this guy isn't looking after your best intention. No one is really. Only yourself. You only have to look after yourself and only you can fucking, you know, dictate your own fucking destiny. Not some random dude in LA you'd hardly know or you've kind of just fell in love with because of your podcast persona. So, most likely you got fired because the stuff that you do isn't that great. I would assume if you're George. Or you got fired because this guy is terrible with his money and he put himself in a situation where he now can't afford to pay certain people and the easiest person to get let to let go in that studio, um, you know, is you. You're always gonna be the first one on the list. You're the one that's mostly um dispensable. So in this situation, I would say use this as a warning sign and run for the hills. Whatever money is you're owed for the work you've already done, collect it, save it, whatever it may be. Use that money as maybe some money to fuck around with and find out another situation or try some creative projects. But you should not be banking your learn tongue future on Thick Boy or Brendan Schaub. Use this situation and fucking run for the hills. You really should. Because if you think this is going to get better or if you think this is not going to rear its ugly head again, you are really delusional or super naive so you need to quickly pull up your big boy pants grow up quickly because this guy's gonna fuck you over again he's gonna fuck you over he's definitely gonna fuck you over again so don't you know don't take this offer of working remotely and shit take the money you're owed and run for the hills if i was you george run for the fucking hills um it was always a bad idea long-term banking on brendan anyway um but you know i get it you're a fan cool um you're young you don't really know what's going on whatever but any way you want to go career-wise honestly i don't think brendan's the safe bet you're probably better off doing it on your own. There's no, you know what I mean? His name and reputation was probably sullied greatly over the years because of everything that's been happening, all the dramas and shit. Um, you're not gonna really going to gain anything from being associated with Brendan, apart from maybe the skills you learn from doing a certain task and stuff. But in terms of industry connection shit, it's a waste of time. You're better off just making your own way and kind of hustling yourself or joining another another team of people, right? I don't know, fucking, um, you know, the your mom, your mom's house people and shit and all those type of people, maybe they're not in LA anymore. That's a much better way to kind of get in the situation or industry than Brendan and Brian. So if I was you, I would run for the fucking hills. But again, what do I know? So George says, that didn't happen. I'm still working for Brendan. Then another update. 
Another update. Another update. <laughs> Someone says in Brendan's fucking Instagram, right? Fix it with George. That shit wasn't right. Fix it with George. That shit doesn't right. And Brendan, the fucking redact, because he's more worried about how he looks as opposed to actually being a good person. He's worried about his perception as opposed to actually doing good things. He replies to that random person again. The same guy that posts and goes, doesn't read comments. He says, not sure what dumbass you're getting your info from. KG still works with him for me. I don't know who KG is. Isn't his name George Harris? Who the fuck is KG? Or do they call... Or did they call him KG as like a... Who's KG? Anyway, he's referring to George anyway. He says he still works for me. So Brendan confirmed something happened. And now he's trying to wreck on the situation and say, nah, you got it all wrong. He still works for me. And I actually want to see if I can see that comment and see the other replies. Let's see. Let's go on Brendan Short's Instagram. I want to see what actually, if the guy said anything else, because this is fucking fascinating. I, okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Stinger Goo. So this is the, this is the comment um from this user it's all 100 fix it with george let's see the other replies 51 likes let's see the replies oh this is gonna be brilliant one like on brendan's comment replies brendan not according to his mom clarify the situation are you still paying for his surgery this is so callous and cold man you should be ashamed another person callan said it himself which dumbass are you referring to george's mum or callan are you saying that you didn't have your beast of a lawyer to fire him before xmas then rehire him remotely to save face exactly another person okay casey it's being said by multiple sources that we fired that he was fired and sent packing so what really happened another person says jesus dude like everyone mentioned this from kg's mum who's kg by the way what uh, can people oh keto george okay my bad okay thank you um thank you the intrigue bless you thank you the intrigue um keto george okay cool i guess because that's how he lost weight keto right cool yo what's good uche wagwan this isn't a narrative you need to manage it's just a fuck up you need to make right put down the tiger fic and pick up some bodega cat it might even make you funnier oof that's true though again this is we just have to accept the guy's a bad dude you know just accept he's a bad guy he's he's beyond he's beyond help he's beyond redemption beyond salvation he's just a horrible human to be fair let's just accept that it's just what it is um he's never gonna learn he's never gonna get right and this is a clear example of it you know it's so unnecessary um and again that like the person said so cold and callous like why would you do this to somebody like this like why you know they deserve better than this um and it's so unnecessary too and then of course to to about face and then rehire him remotely like what if you're going to fire him, just fire him. Stand on your shit, innit? Stand on business. But of course, this isn't a... Da, da, da. Another person says, how about you actually help him with surgery instead of just reluctantly matching Bert's offer because you put up on the spot, even though he doesn't even have an opportunity connection to George. It took Bert to be like, hey, this kid did something major. I want to help to complete his journey. Um, maybe Brendan and the guys could finish the job and pay for the rest. But no, you spend thousands in a blink of an eye on the dumbest, most hype beast, lame shit ever and then let George go before the new year you're faker than the rare shoes you wear on every pod looking dumb as fuck with the tightest pants you can find on while sitting on your legs crossed like a bunch of sticks um yeah i've never heard of a guy talk about how big his dick is more so than you and then sit with those tight jeans on and legs crossed like no it doesn't make sense papa you see and people say no i think the real reason people don't like him is because he's athletic and really handsome uh let's continue is it true you can is it true you canned him george gone so george gone but not forgotten gadoosh far too soon look how many likes he's gotten as as a car guy you, do you actually do any of the work or just pay someone else what happened to george rp george so who will be deleting comments now that george has got gadooshed oh, i didn't think about that actually i think that'd be chin didn't chin do it before imagine Ch chin is working like a real refugee in it he's real immigrant working Chin is not only going to be editing while he's on vacation, editing while he's at home, editing while he's in bed, editing in his car on the way to work, editing and clipping and producing while he's at work. He's also have, going to have to have his phone logged in to be deleting the rude comments on fucking Brendan's Instagram and shit. What a horrible job. Love the red. You are doing great. You're doing everything I would do if I was balling. Okay. 
I, I see uh, this is okay cool so um absolutely crazy situation right absolutely crazy situation so we continue on on this story we continue fucking on um we also got a bit of an update on so what's this brendan shaub's manager here as well courtesy of the final kids subreddit so big up them the managers called some guy called lex mcmahon um me now know who lex mcmahon is um who is he lex mcmahon is a president of Al of alchemist management and known for creating meaningful opportunities to raise an athlete's overall brand profile in a world of mma jesus christ imagine how much money this guy is fleeting off of brendan why does brendan need an mma manager weird isn't it why do you why would you even need a manager if you're brendan really you know imagine how much money this is the thing he's so obsessed with image he just spends money on like stuff that's not necessary court cases lawyers and shit age like agents like why would you have that why would you have an agent if you're brendan what commercial entertainment gig stuff are you doing you could probably handle all of the stuff on your own because all the requests will come through your fucking inbox if they want to hit you up they'll just hit up the fucking t k email do you know what i mean it's like but again, you got to look like a big shot. So he's got a fucking uh, big wig um, pres um, manager for him. There, there you go. There's the original article with him getting signed in August the 6th, 2010. And then there's another picture of the guy, I guess. His name is Lex McMahon on set while he's talking to, um, what's his face? Um, Game Breed. So maybe this also explains why Brendan gets a good guest in MMA. Maybe this alchemist, maybe this alchemist management group represent big fighters and that's how he gets his guests oh maybe that's how crazy it gets maybe they've also in cahoots with joe rogan or maybe he's friends with joe and that's how everybody gets on food truck diaries before the payment stuff right maybe they're like yeah we're with lex we're with alchemist management and maybe they have ties with joe so if you're cool with Lex, you're cool with Joe, he could make you cool with Joe. Maybe there's something there. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We continue. We continue. More bullshit. Obviously, you got this funny post um, featuring fucking, what's his name? Um, George with his cat. Obviously, this isn't real. Um, this is just somebody obviously photoshopping it from the original picture of fucking Brendan's truck we'll talk about it later. So, um, in conclusion, the situation at hand, we now know that... Um, George's allegedly got his job back because Brendan got publicly shamed into rehiring him. If I'm George, I'm running a mile. Don't trust anything Brendan does or says. Um, run a fucking mile. Um, the guy is really toxic unfortunately um there's nothing really good that's going to come from associating with him and this whole situation is really gutting because it shows you how 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 much they didn't really respect him you know how little regard they held of this kid like that they were treating this way that's a really sad bit about it it's that realization that the people that you think are your friends aren't really your friends you know they don't really look out for you the way they do you know they do that la thing where they keep saying i love you i love you and shit and they don't really love each other because if you love somebody you don't you know treat them like this you're not this cold not this cut off you don't you know you know you don't you don't try and kind of you know make it as personal as possible when it comes to directing them and telling them hey it's ended and shit and just talking to them honestly man to man and if i was george like i said in the beginning i would run a fucking mile nothing good can come out of associating with brendan long term um as is proven obviously because it's definitely ended in tears and he got shamed into rehiring him which is the really 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 sad and crazy thing about the situation so that's it what can you do um let me know what you think in the chat what do you think down below in the chat what do you think 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 um because part of me also thinks i don't know why do you need a george anyway he's got too many employees in the first place for their podcast and the quality of show that they do they don't need that many employees you need a chin and the other the other white dude i don't know what he does some technical stuff that's probably it and even that is probably a bit overboard they've got too many employees there too many people just loitering around it's just a podcast in front of a couple of slrs in a couple in front of a couple of mics like they don't do anything else you know what i mean it's not interactive or anything you know what i mean like it is what it is pre-recorded show that they do um they've been doing for years on autopilot they don't need to have a million employees so it's probably for the best that you got fired in that regard so they can run a bit of a lean operation um 
But yeah, I don't know. And I haven't really seen anything from him that would let me know that he's a high performer himself. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'm I'm not mis you know, I'm not plugged in, but I don't really see anything from him that would let me know that he's really top level at what he does. So that probably makes him unfortunately very, very expendable. Um what are you saying here? Chin is also moving the equipment between the studios, exactly. It's not like he's gonna take his manager's advice, exactly. The hybrid is such a lame moniker, exactly. His bio said battle battle gods of Mong of Mogadigu. Maybe Dina's good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coil at LOL. NJ Ranger said, I think you mean um have a how brave American entrepreneur can cancel cultured into wasting more money on subsidy for him. Yep, exactly. Um Coyle says Bapper is gonna be playing paying him a fiver client now that making flyers once a month lows. Uh Brenda made a huge mistake at BGL, that's what I think. Yeah, I've said it before, BGL has been was probably the best and worst thing to happen to Brendan. I think it's the best thing because I think as much as Brendan's a piece of shit, clearly to people around him, he definitely does need friends. He doesn't have any friends, you know? You can see it. He probably needs some male company outside of, you know, people he pays to hang out with him. So the fact that BGL started off as a paid employee, but then forced his way into being a friend of Brendan's and somebody he could rely on and lean on and complain to and, you know, go baddie to baddie, addy to addy for that was a big deal so he was beneficial for him in that respect having an adult friend but <sighs> opening him his life up to someone like that and letting him come into quote unquote his house was also the worst thing to happen because you know he has not let that go you know he is on a one man mission to let the world the entire world know oh everybody he can you know he can kind of listen to or speak to about how much he thinks Brendan's a piece of shit so clearly the gamble didn't pay off with BGL. It did not pay off because that guy is, you know, I don't even think he's going to stop if he gets his money. I don't think so. And I, so I think I would love to know why though, because it feels like something else happened because I was very furious when I didn't get paid the money that I was owed and I did some bad stuff, but I then just stopped thinking about the person. I don't I can't remember their fucking name you know, even now, but this seems a bit more personal. BGL seems to be really pissed off like he seems to be fucking furious so i don't even think he'll stop even if he gets his fucking settlement money or what he's owed for his fucking unpaid wages he's gonna still be going hard in the paint so brendan's got many more months or many more years of non-stop abuse from bjo because can you imagine the amount of dms he must send him from like you know um old accounts and emails and texts and voicemails and shit he must be absolutely pounding brendan you know no pause from every fucking foreseeable angle and channel trying to get a rise out of him trying to get him to reply <laughs> and the moment he does he's gonna fucking put down fucking the, the reddit you know so brendan can't slip he can't fucking bite he can't react <laughs> he can't get triggered he just to kind of just pretend it's not happening and you know bury his head in the sand like he always does just go just go oh man <sighs> 